Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce modal verbs. In the presentation on the sentence bracket, we saw that modal verbs kick the infinitive form of the verb to the end of the sentence or clause. We will go through a step-by-step -step analysis of this process at the end of this presentation. First, however, let's take a look at what the modal verbs mean. There are seven modal verbs in German. Dürfen, meaning may or to be allowed to. Können, meaning can or to be able to. Mögen, meaning to like or to like to. Möchten, meaning would like to. Müssen, meaning must or to have to. Sollen, meaning should or to be supposed to. And wollen, meaning to want to. Most singular forms of the modal verbs have a shift in the stem vowel. For example, as you see on the screen, the stem vowel in the modal verb dürfen changes from u umlaut to a in the singular, but goes back to u umlaut in the plural. The stem vowel in the modal verb müssen changes from u umlaut to u in the singular, but goes back to u umlaut in the plural. The stem vowel in the modal verb möchten does not change in either the singular or the plural. However, the stem vowel in the modal verb mögen changes from o umlaut to a in the singular and goes back to o umlaut in the plural. The stem vowel in the modal verb sollen does not change in either the singular or plural. The stem vowel in the modal verb wollen changes from o to i in the singular and goes back to o in the plural. Finally, the stem vowel in the modal verb können changes from o umlaut to a in the singular, but goes back to o umlaut in the plural. We will take a look at the different meanings of these modal verbs and how to use them in a sentence in a later presentation. At this point, I would instead like to demonstrate how to use modal verbs in a sentence. In the sentence you see here, ich komme um 12 Uhr, I am coming at 12 o'clock, the verb komme is in the second position and there is subject verb agreement between the first person singular personal pronoun ich and the first person singular verb form komme. The modal verb needs to be placed in the second position. To do this, I take the infinitive of the modal verb, conjugate it so that there is subject verb agreement, and insert the modal verb into the second position. The verb that used to be in the second position is removed from the sentence and, since it no longer needs to agree with the subject of the sentence, reverts to its infinitive form. This infinitive form is then inserted at the very end of the sentence. Ich kann um 12 Uhr kommen. I can come at 12 o'clock. Or, as you see here, at the end of a clause. Ich kann um 12 Uhr kommen und dann gehen wir ins Kino. I can come at 12 o'clock and then we'll go to the movies we will examine coordinating conjunctions and clauses in a later presentation. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square, remix and share.